If you wanna move, I got you. No more stand around like a statue. LED lights, red, green, blue, looking like a disco ball when I come through. Come. There are lots of gimmicks around my cockpit and some of those parts like gauges, nets, too many displays or buttons have zero physical use in any race scenario. But the harnesses are definitely here for a reason. You ask, what is the point of wearing seatbelts in non-motion rig? And here is my story. I used to say so many times that driving is very, very complex activity and much, much more than brake, accelerating and turn left, turn right. All the different movements from our hands and feet plus all the hundreds of calculations and decisions we do per second must be perfectly executed if we want to gain control of all the different forces generated on the car. To create that little extra grip from trail braking or little more rotation of the car through the perfect weight transfer in mid corner and be able to accelerate maybe just a few inches earlier. All those synchronized fits and hats movements must be perfectly precise. But what have that to do with the harnesses which are designed to keep us safe and tight to the seat in the real racing cars through those enormous g-forces? Well, let's start from the beginning. It's Rasmussen versus Chapelevsky. For years I raced in a very competitive environment where 50 cars grid was into half second pace and the top 20 into 50,000th of the second. Environment where blink of an eye mistake will cost several position creates brutal psychological pressure, particularly when $10,000 are on the line and you have responsibility for your team. After 30-40 hours of preparation for each weekly race, I had single WAP window with those tires to put my best lap in quality and then very stressful first WAP on cold tires in super tight grid with equally skilled drivers. That adrenaline spike in those specific and probably most important moments of the race are my biggest enemy. That huge dose of adrenaline can be very beneficial maybe for weightlifting but absolute killer for the smooth and precise movements I need in driving. My legs were shaking, my hands muscles were contracted and my heavy pulls shake my vision in every beat. I had that strong experience only once in my first ever rally stage on the 30 seconds countdown, but I had this problem in every important sim racing race on the start. In the first lap I was driving like a robot keeping very tight and even leaning on my wheel with my entire body like I am driving 100 Newton meter force feedback and that was really bad for my first lap. You know our mind sends signal to the body and when we are under stress some muscles get contracted and we go into that protective mode but that signal goes both ways and if we have a little bit more relaxed posture, the body sends signal to the brain and calm our mind down. I needed something to remind me that I have to relax and need to use my hands only and not the entire body so I decided to tie myself into that bucket and totally limit my movements to be able to use only my hands. Now every time I'm under stress and start leaning into that steering direction with my entire body, the harnesses keep me back and I'm limited just to my hands movements which are much more precise. And the other important benefit from that was my brake control. The harnesses eliminate all the gaps in my lower back and my heavy brake inputs become quicker and a bit more precise. But that definitely didn't solve my problem which was that huge spike of adrenaline. So after long research I found some specific breathing technique which have completely different purpose but it worked great for my case. The Wim Hof breathing technique have incredible impact on the immune system but also generate an enormous spike of adrenaline, much bigger than even free jump. So adrenaline rush have really strong effect for a few seconds and in about a minute the body goes back to normal. Here is what I did and completely solved my problem. Plus. I got some health benefits. Before the start of the quality or stress of a race, just 5-10 minutes before I spiked those enormous adrenaline doses with series of breathing and then my body just doesn't produce or even doesn't care to produce that spike of adrenaline. So my brain and body was full of oxygen and I was completely relaxed. Something as simple as passion for racing may look in the eyes of the rest of the world as complete waste of resources and time. For me, 
was always the main source of energy. To learn more about myself, about my limits and weak spots, biology hacks for best performance and psychological tricks in difficult moments, all that knowledge I've built over the years which make my life better from fighting easy solutions for everyday little problems to stay calm in those difficult ones have been driven from that love for racing and the search of the next 50 thousandths of the second. If you have any passion for anything, not just racing, you have the biggest gift in the world you can possibly have. And you have to make sure you keep it alive because that will be the main source of energy to find solution and beat your next problem. So, do your hard work, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.